Welcome to Army Jam 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. Today's entertainment news is brought to you by Tad's Records, distributors of the album Zitana Reggae Forever and George Nooks for you. For this news feature and more things IRI, download the IRI Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit irijam.com. In today's stories, Mota Baruka to receive award. Jamaica the ultimate destination for rappers? Did Itana hurt her brand? And Steph Landon has a new man. Lifetime Achievement Award for Muta Baruka. Congratulations are in order for dub poet and radio presenter Alan Hope, better known as Muta Baruka. He has been named the recipient of IRFM's prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award. The ceremony will be held on March 24 at the Kingston Technical High School. Muta Baruka, during the Africa Forum on Sunday with the Kabu Mat Keru, revealed that he was pleasantly surprised. The IRFM Lifetime Achievement Award, first awarded in February 2017, is awarded annually to a Jamaican, distinguished by a body of work that demonstrates outstanding and exceptional leadership, dedication, and achievement nationally and globally, and who has shown exceptional leadership in industry advancement. It also recognizes a Jamaican who has dedicated his or her life to a worthy cause or given to the community or nation in a major way. Dr. Jimmy Cliff was the first recipient of IRFM's Lifetime Achievement Award in 2017, and Bunny Whaler received the award in 2018. It's Destination Jamaica for Rappers. The Jamaica Tourist Board must be loving this. Oh yes, American rappers can't seem to get enough of Yad. And City Girls rapper Young Miami is the latest in a growing list to have descended off the island paradise in the last few months. Meek Mill, Drake, Tory Lanez, and DJ Khaled all visited Jamaica recently. On Monday, Young Miami jetted into the island with her boyfriend Southside and family to celebrate her 25th birthday. And to make her day super special, her label Quality Control and bossman Pierre P. Thomas bought the birthday girl a spanking new Bentley. It was only last month that Southside bought her a 2019 Red G Wagon. Downtown Queen Headtop is featured in the new music video for City Girls and Cardi B's twerk collaboration. Has Itana hurt her brand? A debate is raging regarding the extent to which Grammy-nominated singer Itana hurt her brand when she went off at a fan who suggested that her choice of garment for the Grammys was at odds with her role as a conscious reggae artist. He wrote on Twitter, remember the days when Itana was the conscious one? And tagged her in the comment. Well, the strong one showed her strength in an expletive-filled rant. She showed just how conscious she was. Check it out. I want to know who the beep are you to decide whether I'm conscious or not. I'm on the red carpet. Where the beep you at? Comfortably in my bed, the user responded, to which Itana replied, You poor little cockroach. It didn't end there. You're not conscious from your make them Trump statements there. A conscious person would never think to say a white woman ain't white just because she can't speak English or cause her accent different. The fan expressed, Call back in your hole and get the beep off my timeline, she replied before adding, Missy people do much more and uno still a crawl in a name beep. Love me, dog, beep. The final comment was a picture of Itana in her Grammy apparel alongside a Pepto-Bismol bottle. Itana in an interview with the star stated, I really have nothing further to say on that. Upward and forward movements. Stefflin Don has a new man? The Hurting Me rapper addressed the status of their relationship after Burner Boy, real name Damini Ogulu, shared a video of Steph sleeping on his chest while he lay topless. Steph27 then confirmed she's indeed got a new bae just in time for Valentine's Day, but not before clearing up one important fact first. Naturally, the cozy video put the couple in a compromising position, but Steph insists there was nothing racy about their napping session. In her Instagram story, Steph said, Relax guys, he ain't hit yet, but that's Bay." alongside a cat emoji with heart eyes. Steph appears to be staying with Burna Boy during her visit to Nigeria, and she's made herself right at home. In one video on his Instagram, Steph is seen cooking in the kitchen before admiring the beautiful view from what looks to be a pretty stunning mansion in another shot. Steph then answered some questions from her followers, including one which asked if she was really half Nigerian, to which she replied, no, but my kids will probably be. Shall we expect some burner babies in the near future? When asked if she'd date a normal person, Steph then replied, yeah, but he has to have his own money because I'm rude sometimes. And he will probably say, you're only getting rude because you got money, which is never the case because money or no money, if you want to act dumb, I'll join you. That's how we wrap up for today. 
Thank you for watching Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. Today's entertainment news is brought to you by Tad's Records, distributors of the album Zitana Reggae Forever and George Nooks for you. For this news feature and more things Irie, download the Irie Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit IrieJam.com. See you soon.